Alright guys, so today we are going to be trying out Sinanju over here on the JP version. So here we are, I just kind of put it on the wallpaper for you guys right here. So we are going to be trying this unit out pretty much at bare stock, no investment, not even full funnel himself. Because let me let me show you guys my battle uh, or my summoning result. Battle result, you, you kind of say the same thing. Summoning and battle, they are literally the same thing. Literally five for my life to get a copy of Sinanju, and here we are. So I did a total of nine multi summon to secure myself a copy. So I spent like a good, you know, twenty seven k just to get a copy of that. And then for full frontal, I did literally over eleven multi summon, still nothing in. But uh, throughout the way, I was able to get a lot of these super extreme limited pilot. So I mean, like I'm 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 good. I I, I guess I guess we were good. So let's kind of try out or let's kind of take a look at the team that we have set up. Uh, we will be hopping into the co-ops actually because that is going to allow us to kind of see what this unit is able to do. We will actually just do the co-op level 1 not the co-op level 2 because it's just going to be a lot more easier on my end. Uh, in terms of the co-ops too, I'm still not able to complete it by myself as you know even though I do have like a full stock of green unit that we will be taking it on. So this is going to be the team that we are going to be hopping in with. So in terms of for Sinanju, we are actually going to be using Armor Array. This is the only one that I am, you know, I, I guess more more or less likely to use because there are a few effects in here that actually works really, really well. On the skill one, we have the second line right there. This is for a generic unit. So when battle begins, hit rate increased by 12%. So we can obviously take advantage of that. The second line on the skill two is for a cycle frame specifically. So whenever, whenever we are dealing damage, for 20 seconds, we are able to stack up damage 15 times, stacking up to uh, 10 times. So that is uh, equivalent to 150% and we are able to proctor everything within the 20 second mark. So that is actually pretty good. And then last but not least, commander type or the commander unit, which we are able to proctor with San Andrew as well, adding on another 46% to our shooting range. So we will take that. Everything else is pretty much related to each shards counter attack, which we are not able to kind of take advantage of. We have like the second New Zealand war. We have uh, Earth Federation. We have uh, what's the protagonist unit? All that good stuff we cannot take advantage of, unfortunately. But uh, that's going to be the team. So let's kind of see bear stock. Um, I will kind of. I, I do expect this unit to do quite well actually because I have been using it already. Uh, as just a matter of fact, I do want to. I do want to show you guys what units are like in terms of JP when they are, you know, new and shiny. How can they perform even without the signature pilot as well? All right. So in terms of the enemy Atlanta, we are facing off against a lot of uh, victory stuff. So. The X is a victory too, and then the rest is just a victory Gundam. So that's gonna be the lineup that we have right here. Um, so I guess we can plus play the animation first. Let's kind of show you guys how the EXQ animation looks, and then we will. Whoop! The enemy is activating theirs. Can I turn off the enemy first, real quick? Yes. Let's do that, and then we can focus our attention into Sinanju. What? Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah, that's on, yeah. Okay, there you go. I did not press the all, all buttons. So, Alright, there's the EX skill. Yeah, I mean, like, the EX skill looks pretty darn good. I, I won't even lie. It's definitely pretty flashy. Uh, literally ripped from the anime. I think that's the scene when Full Funnel actually went to rescue Benadjur and the crew when Benadjur kind of, what is it, re-entrance from, from the Earth. So that was a cool part of it. So there's still a lot of, you know, Sinanju scene that they can actually use and make like a, another unit off from. But I don't know if they're going to be doing that anytime soon because like how popular is Sinanju even is? Like I don't really think so. It's been like what? two years into the game before they made a new Sinanju, right? So it's uh, to me, it, I, I feel like Sinanju is not really the most popular unit. It, it, if, you, if you consider like all the, you know, supposedly Shar stuff, right? You know, obviously for Forno is like a, uh, I, 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 like a clone of Char, but he's, I, I feel like just the whole unit is not as popular. I, I, I don't know, you guys, you guys can definitely let me know on that. Uh, compared to like Unicorn, like no, it's not even on the same level. Like Sasabi, yeah, 
that's like a different tier as well. Um, that much output wise is actually not too shiny. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know that as well because my F91 full power has a lot more investment into it. And you know, just looking at the skill, like looking at the effects that you have emulate, I would kind of expect my F91 to perform, you know, relatively the same or, you know, a little bit better. But no, you know, the, the yeah, just the Sinandu is outperforming uh, F91 by a long shot. That is crazy to me. So I think we can kind of skip the EXQ now because uh, we have seen a lot already. So it's not bad for sure. Coming off from the main weapon one and then the main or uh, uh, the third weapon, we are doing a lot of damage for sure. So I am uh, I'm definitely pretty satisfied. So if you ask me, is one copy enough in general for just regular regular content? I think it's actually pretty good. So I will actually show you guys how it is in the arena as well, because this unit supposedly excels in arena meta as well. So. We will actually do some Phantom Ace because in terms of my arena, I, I didn't play yesterday's arena So we might just get some bots or the NPC so it's not going to be the best showing for you all But uh, we will hop into some Phantom Ace and see how Sinandu does Alright, so this team is actually quite beefy so I don't know if we can actually show anything off in my best of my capability but uh Let's kind of see how we will do in this one right here. So let's actually set it in one time speed because we probably would just get deleted right off the face on the earth. So let's kind of see um, how we can kind of do. We do have the uh, damage mitigation, so I feel like we are surviving quite well, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's kind of see what's going on. Like, can, can you start hitting Sinanju? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Are we popping EX skill for the first time? Are we? Did we not? Oh, we didn't even land there? Are you kidding me? Oh, we didn't do any damage to the F91, yeah. Alright, so we got deleted. We actually got deleted, man. Oh, wow. So, what's left on our team is actually just the F91 full power and then the O, oh, which you know, got deleted as well. So, not the best showcase for sure. All right, so we are in some Phantom Ace, so let's kind of see how we will actually do in here. Uh, so, oh wow, they got they got the pretty good team set up for sure. M91 all in the back, and then we have the Shars Zaku on the right hand side. But uh, we will just kind of see what Sinandu can do in this situation. Uh, I don't, I don't really know. I never really fought this team too well, you know, like the other other units and whatnot. Uh, so we will kind of see. Oh wow, Unicorn that got deleted right off the bat. That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, like Sanandu is doing something for sure. Yeah. Um, but I think is not really gonna be enough to kind of get us to win for sure. I think. I don't know. Come on. Yeah, like the fact that this unit is targeting the F91 means we're not really going to be doing anything at all because F91 just is able to dodge literally everything in existence. So, kind of an L first match, but uh, at least you guys can kind of see what this unit could do, right? I'm just going to actually put it in 2 times speed because if we are facing off against the F91 and the Go, uh, it's most likely we are going through a time range, which we are obviously. So, yeah. Alright, is the O not? Oh yeah, the O is not going to make it. So, there you guys have it. So, whenever you face off against a F91 enemy and the O enemy, this is the type of match that you guys will be getting. A straight timer. <laughs> so sad. Alright, so regardless, I am going to make this one the last kind of showcase for Lisa Nanju. Uh, regardless of the outcome because it has been quite difficult to try to fight a relatively the same kind of team as ours because uh, a lot of these teams in Phantom Ace are just weld out to the max, alright? Uh, it's quite hard to find anyone that's rel relatively the same as our team so I mean like so far we are doing okay-ish, right? Just a little bit. 
Uh, Sinanju is definitely surviving quite nice with that 58% damage mitigation. So, I mean, like, that's why we, we, we driving in here, you know. Oh, are we gonna actually beat it? Oh, we did! We actually beat an enemy F91 with like how many of our guys just up spamming at the F91? That's that's pog. Uh, let's do kind of see what we did is as far as just the overall damage output wise uh, because. Obviously, it does not show you right after this, so we want to take a look right now. Alright, so we didn't do too bad. I mean, we did we pretty much didn't do anything. So, Sinanju is actually just at the bottom barrel with uh, the O just doing a lot of the work because that's what the unit is capable of doing. Uh, F91 definitely another major contributor to this victory, but um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it in terms of the Sinanju quick showcase of this unit. Um, obviously, it's not the most perfect showcase that I could have done because, like, if we would have full front out, I think we would definitely be we would be doing much more of a better job. But we, because we just didn't have him, so that's why I feel like a lot of the pressure was just relying on what the unit was able to do. So that's kind of unfortunate. But other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for me, and I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.